Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about C++ templates. So let's get started. Okay, so at first we will start with very basic how templates work. Okay, so let's suppose that you have a function add. So you have two values a and b and this function returns a plus b. Okay, now suppose that you want multiple versions of this function having different types. Okay, meaning you want it to be, uh, let's say, integer or double, or you might also define your own types, let's say, type. Okay, now you have to create uh, multiple versions of this explicitly, you have to copy and paste and change the types, that would be a little tedious. Okay, so this is where templates come to rescue okay so what you need to do is to make a placeholder okay and that placeholder is let's say t or whatever the name you want okay so let's say it would be t okay so traditionally we do it as t okay and apart from that we need to also add extra keyword which is template and since t is type this is a type so we need to add type name and t this is what you need to do only okay and there are a lot of more things like uh, adding default values to these parameters we will also talk more about this uh, in the subsequent videos but for now this is fine okay now what is this this is called template parameters okay so let's create a main function and i will let's say we have float which is result uh, let me correct it add and how to invoke this uh, we need to also pass the template augment okay so how to pass template augments you need to specify the type i mean since this is the placeholder you need to specify here the concrete um, type let's say float so this is your template augment remember that this is called template parameters and this is called template augment now now this is the actual functions uh, i mean this is the actual function that you have earlier defined like float okay so now you can pass the float values let's say 4.5 and 3. Point, sorry 2.3 okay now the result would be uh, 6.8 okay so let's see okay now let's save this file and here I'm using GCC uh, let me make it little bigger so that you can have better look okay let's compile it oops sorry and the name of our source file is this and main.exe those of you who don't know oh sorry i forget to include this oops. so this is our input output library like standard libraries so let's do that those of you who don't know how to use gcc compiler for compiling c and c++ languages you can watch my videos on how to install gcc and compile with that okay so let's go ahead i will run this now you can see that we have 6.8 the expected output now this would also work for integers how let's say so for distinguish we will uh, we will add a tag let's say float here and int uh, int result equals to add integer um, 10 or one uh, 100 so the expected result would be 100 and 10 so std see out int result uh, int result Okay, now let's save this and compile it again. 
now you can see that the results are the expected okay now this is how the templates work and remember that this is not a magic the actual thing that is going behind the scenes is that uh, the multiple copies of this definition has been made for each of these different types so there is almost no difference between the binary size so keep in mind that templates gives us a lot more flexibility but it also um, make us vulnerable because uh, if you are using let's say lots of types and you are instantiating lots of templates then it might also increase your final object file size binary size okay so we have learned about how to declare templates i mean how to define template definitions how to make template recipe and instantiate them so the thing that you have been introduced till now is what we call implicit instantiation you just specify the template argument and the compiler will imp implicitly instantiate the template meaning it will just copy and paste like this uh, just like that and uh, it will oops sorry it will replace that with okay now so this was this is how it would gonna work but um uh, suppose that you want to make something like you want to specialize a particular recipe I mean particular instantiated definition for a particular type so let's understand this with the help of uh, let's say um, template type name T okay so you want to print result let's say for example uh, we have T value since we are not going to modify or anything we can just mark it as const and we can also do that th the same thing here also so let's do that std c out value okay but apart from that what we also want to do is to prefix this result value with their corresponding type okay so let's say uh, integer for integer and float for float and um, something double for double okay so how we can do that uh, according to the implicit instantiation the same would be uh, instantiated so but we want it to be specialized for each of the types okay so how we can do that so what we need to do is to leave this as it is okay undefined and then we will create explicit specialization for each of these types for which we want to make specialization okay so how we can do that is void print and specify the template argument let's say for float now const float value okay now this is your template specialization but there is another thing that you need know, to introduce here is the template and empty angular brackets okay now we can specialize it like uh, float and value okay something like that and we can do the same for integer const integer value stdc out integer value okay and we can also do that for the double okay so for now i am just doing for the two types so what i can do is let's say we can just print the results uh print integer int result okay now print float result now uh, let's save this oops sorry okay now everything seems like good okay now let's run this we can see that it is working as expected now uh, what will happen if something other than float or integer has been used in this template augment now we will get undefined reference kind of error which is a linker error 
okay why because we haven't defined the definition of this function we can also provide a default definition how we can just add a definition let's say std cout uh, unknown type something like that just for the sake of successful compilation and linking okay so this would work there is another thing which is the implicit template augment deduction how it works you might notice that we have to specify the type each time we call these uh, templates i mean they are template versions okay so how we can get rid of this we already know that the uh, the arguments that we are passing in this uh, function is already of flow type why not let the compiler deduce the type of these arguments these values okay so this is possible just omit this template augment compiler will automatically deduce the type and do the work for you okay let's omit everything now this is called implicit template augment deduction now you can see that it is compiled successfully and it is working as expected okay so this is how works and uh, this is how templates works and we will also talk more about this like we have metaprogramming stuffs and a uh, lot more things like default parameters of the templates and other things like we will also try to use uh, type name for different places other than uh, this one T type name has a lot more use cases so that's it for now we will talk more about that in the later videos of this series thanks for watching